Good morning. This is Leah from Blue Whale Arts, and we are under the arbor. Sunshine is out. We got power back last night at uh, about 9 o'clock, so that's good. And I've got my cup of coffee under the arbor this morning. Um, and I just wanted to talk about some of the things that people have been asking me in my videos. And one of them is um, the ground cover that I use. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's the, I've been using ground cover for a couple of years, and around my trellises, um, I've found and I've been able to figure out the watering and all that good stuff. But the uh, big guys here, I'm noticing when we get that real hot, we've had the real hot, hot spell. Um, I need to do something a little bit different. I'll keep maybe the ground cover on and maybe put some straw on top so that when their uh, vines run, they put out roots to help with the watering of them. And so um, I'm still figuring it out, but I have loved it under the arbor. I've loved it around my trellises. I've been able to figure out the watering for those guys because they're, of course, growing up and not down. And the gourds aren't as big as some of the big guys on the ground so um but the ground cover that i use is the green is from the greenhouse mega store and it's called mega grow five ounce 20 year weed barrier it does allow the water to come through um what i why i initially put it down is because i didn't want to have to rototill the whole area i know i was being a little bit on the lazy side but actually um, doing it by hand just was going to be too daunting for me to do physically. And so I thought if I put the weed barrier down, it would kill all the grass underneath. And that way there, um, it also stops the grass from coming up when the gourds are growing. So I figured that um, that would be the best thing for me to put down. And I've tried some cheaper versions of... Um, it's, it's rather expensive, however, it has been worth its weight in gold. It really has been to keep the weeds down and to keep it. And then I've picked up a couple of sections of it and where I've picked up, the ground is much softer and easier for me to work because the grass has all been killed underneath. So with that being said, that answers the question about, um, the weed barrier that I use on my garden. Tomorrow I will answer the question that people have been asking me about how I water. So I will put that in a video for tomorrow. And um, let's do a little bit of what I've learned in my garden last night and a couple of a little sad news and a little happy news. So let's go there. Alrighty. So the sad news is, and we will get this guy moved um, onto another gourd, but my Buddha that was filled up the mold for some reason has begun to shrivel up inside there. So I am not very happy about that. So we will go ahead and move that to another gourd. So that's the sad news. And that's part of the whole challenge of, um, that's part of the whole challenge of gourd, of using the molds. Now, the happy news is, as we walk through my garden, and I cannot believe I didn't see this guy. Let's go ahead and walk through it. And um, we've got a couple of nice gourds starting. Now, whether they're going to be viable or not, I don't know if it's enough time. Um, we've got one over. I'm going to zoom in. There's one over here that I actually put a pile of wood pieces underneath it to give it support. Because if that gourd grows, it's gonna be really, really, really big. And then the other is, um, we're gonna keep going this way. I've just gotta go through my maze here and not step any vines. Now the wind must have blown the leaves just the right way and I, didn't notice it yesterday because I was so obviously distraught about my one that fell, but I never noticed this guy right in here before. So that is cool. That is an African drum. Um, at least that's what the seeds are supposed to be. So then I will go ahead and match up to make sure. And then there's another one that I noticed. 
and I should have showed this one on the way, is a um, supposed to be a giant pear. But you can see it way in the fence. Now I know there's one on, there's two on the other side of the fence that I um, that I have as well. So, anyways, I hope that answers the question about the weed barrier that I use. And like I said, I love it for around my trellis system. However, um, where the big guys are, it's the first year that I've done this section. I used to grow these at my dad's house. And so I'm kind of on the fence on whether I like it for when I'm growing the big gourds and how to figure out the watering. But every year it's a challenge and figuring out these things to make it as easy on the body as you can and have a great successful crop. Hope everyone has a good gourding day. And tomorrow I will talk about the question on the watering system that I use as folks have been asking me that question as well. Have a great day.